Welcome. Ambassador Sajdevaji, thank you very much for giving you this opportunity to me. Namaste to everybody. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Shyamji, uh, uh, for this uh, welcome address. And uh, now uh, I won't uh, take more time. So we'll, uh, I know you are all waiting to hear our esteemed and very distinguished uh, speaker, um, uh, Mr. Valadimir Kalinin, to take the floor and speak on the topic, the Arctic Roma Romani Renaissance. So, Mr. Uh, Kalinin. The floor is yours. Thank you. Yeah, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Yavin Saste Bachtale, Shalale, Tepchenale, Lacho Deves, Draga Gajale. My greetings, ladies and gentlemen, Roma and non Roma Gaje. I greet you, everybody who has come to this talk, which is taking place to the kind invitation of Zamir. And this is my privilege to talk to you about the Baltic Roma and the Renaissance and the Romani Renaissance time. Mirulavisi Valdemaru, I'm Valdemar, not Vladimir. Valdemar, so easy. And I live in London, but originally I'm from Belarus, from Vitebsk. I'm not a Romani politician. I'm a poet and a writer and translator. I will speak about the Baltic Roma. Uh, when we talk, when we say Roma, it directs us to the Baltic Sea straight away, but it's not only the Baltic Sea. The main bulk of the population of the Russian Federation, as we call Russia, are also Baltic Roma. And then it's the nations which are around the Baltic Sea, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Belarus, and I mentioned the central and northern part in Siberia, part of Russia, northern Ukraine, and there are countries from Asia, Kazakhstan and Central Asia, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, there are also Baltic or Russian Roma there living as well. We mentioned Russia, 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 so we should get a little bit of course in the relation between gypsies is a traditional word. I like this word. It's not a pejorative name, gypsies. Egyptian, many Roma still introduce themselves as uh, people from minor Egypt. And uh, Russians, they got on very well for more than 200 years uh, since the first mention in 1696 until the October Revolution in 1917. Russia, many, uh, uh, there are two uh, definitions or keywords to define Russia or a Russian. The word halado, which means either a soldier or a Russian or a policeman. And the Russia is sounded like by all four non-Russian Roma, it means land of Halade or Haladitko Rik, the sign of Halade. But Russian Roma don't like this word and they just use the word Rasieska, or which means Russian. And I've said Russians uh, and gypsies got on very well for so many years. 
and the Russian Empire and its follower, the Soviet state, and now the Russian Federation, one of few countries who didn't accept any anti-Gypsy laws. So we'll get back again into the Russian Empire, which was a great, huge state full of contrasts. They were highly educated, educated Russian aristocrats who spent their luxurious lives in Nice, France, where invented the famous, notorious Russian roulette places, gambling places. And on the other side, there were poor Russian, uh, Russians, people who were mainly peasants, who were illiterate. By the way, the same contrast is applicable to gypsies. On one side, on one side, there were urban gypsies who were mainly participants of big choirs, educated in gymnasiums. Then on the other side, their compatriots camp gypsies or nomadic. <laughs> Nomadic, can I carry on? I don't see any. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they educated, uh, they educated um, gypsies or the urban gypsies intermarried with the Russian gentry. The Counts Golitsyn or Bolensky, the Count Tolstoy, the famous writer and philosopher Leo Tolstoy was related to the gypsies. His, his two brothers were related to, were married to gypsies, and his middle son, Leo, Leo, son of Leo, who was for a short time married to Russian Masalska in Paris. Anyway, after uh, the October Revolution 19, everything changed. The Bolsheviks couldn't stop the civil war to break out. It reached like a storm in a huge domain for almost four years, and it left the former Russian Empire, especially Russia, where it's now Russia, in ruins and starvation. Some gypsies participated in the civil war. Small minority on the side of whites, majority of gypsies, Roma, went on the red side. And as we can see, the habitual structure for Roma, Russian Roma gypsies was ruined. The, rest uh, the restaurants were closed. Nobody wanted to pay for music. Fair markets were closed. Many gypsies rushed into the country to start nomadic, but they had no knowledge. They had no skills. They returned to cities looking for any jobs. A little bit more successful were gypsies who, after the revolution, took the land and started to cultivate the land because they could somehow survive. And it lasted until 1925, where tension of the so-called proletariat or Soviet state tend to, tend to Roma. So in Moscow, the city, uh, the capital, Lenin has moved from St. Petersburg to Moscow, the capital, and in some Moscow, uh, educated gypsies started to get together. Uh -huh. And they created, founded the all Russian Union of Gypsies of 1924, July 1925 in Moscow. It was registered and in the light of the time, 
the former commander of the Red Army Unit, Andrei Communist Andrei Taranu, Rome from Siberia, became its chairman. And the famous actor, playwright, and the guitarist Ivan Rom Lebedev, who recently passed away in the 90s, and he was in his late 90s, became a secretary. The situation was very favorable, and newspapers started to glorify gypsies, and there was a big article in newspaper, Izvestia, that the union had to work in two directions, common cultural work among the gypsy population and organizing work among gypsies, Roma. I will omit, due to the shortage of time, to speak about gypsies in agriculture, collective farms, uh, cattle, uh, cooperatives, etc., etc., is not the topic of our meeting. And uh, therefore, I will concentrate exactly on the Enlightenment and Renaissance and uh, the subjects which are related. This was a unique time for gypsies, particularly in 1925-1926, when the Soviet government recognized gypsies, and in brackets were written Roma or Egyptians, officially along 62 other nations of the Soviet state. Not as a national minority, just equal like all others, with rights to be educated in the Gypsy Romani language. Moreover, by the publications and official teachers of the communists, Gypsies were encouraged to declare and identify themselves as Tsigan, a male. Rome and Siganka, female, in their passports. And I remember those passports where <laughs> some of my relatives were written. So in 1926, after this creation of the Gypsy Roman Union, the famous, the same uh, famous newspaper Izvestia published material about the gypsy written language created by Nikolai Pankov and Nina Dudarova. And in the line, in the light of the time, the northern gypsy dialect, Baltic of course dialect, mainly Moscow sub-dialect, was taken as a basis for the written gypsy literature which started then to blossom, to be published. And later on, the famous commissioner of education, Anatoly Lunacharsky, who came before revolution from France, an educated person, Jewish man, published a decree about creation of the alphabet gypsy language. And all these books, which I brought here to you, this is a book for children. This is a famous Gypsy Russian dictionary. This is ABC. No, no. This is also for children. Yeah. And Look, ladies and gentlemen, geography in the Romani language as well. And all many others books were created. All in all, about 229 books, textbooks, and different posters were created. And this is a lovely ABC book with a Romani teacher. These books 
almost 100 years. And so we should say that it started to be, so the period of the Roman Renaissance started, you see? And the above mentioned, the chairman of the all Roman Gypsy Union, Andre Tarano, by the way, he passed away somewhere in the 60s in Moldova, being a chairman of the collective, of the Grape Collective Fund. And he started to edit this magazine, which used to come one time in three months. Magazine. New way, new way to communism. <laughs> and uh, it's a small group of people worked here, as I uh, mentioned already. Nikolai Pankov, Nina Dudarova, Olga Pankova, Alexander German, and Nikolai Rogozh was two non-gypsy people. A Russian, Gyp a Russian German, Tatiana Wenzel. I used to know this nice lady when she wasn't too much of age. Beautiful, and uh, still remembered those blessed days when she worked, but she forgot entirely Romany when I put her in Romany. And the famous erudite, Professor Michael Sergeyevsky, who was the uh, vice um, rector of the Moscow University. Until now, it is unknown what caused his great scholar to turn to gypsies. We obliged to him because under his guidance, everything has been created. Yeah? Well, I don't, do you see me? Hello? Yes, yes, Hello? we do see you, we do hear you. Yes, continue. I hear you neither, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, dear ladies and gentlemen, on the 29th of August, 1938, the Central Committee of the Communist Party issued a secret note to the local authorities to close some national schools who had no administrative body territory within the state of Soviets or within the Soviet Union. And in the light of the time to combat the nationalism. And that's why all 12 national schools and classes were closed down. Like German, Polish, Latvian, Finnish, Assyrian, Uyghur, Greek, Bulgarian, Kurdish, Korean, and Gypsies. It is a little bit unfair because the Jews has uh, had already their autonomous republic in the Far East, by the way, which is still functioning now near the modern China in the Russian, with the center of Irobijan. And the Germans had their autonomous republic on the Volga River what is now called Angus, before they been resettled to Kazakhstan. So, um, regardless of the fact that there were 292 books which came in the Renaissance great time of the Roman recovery environment, the, in fact, the Renaissance time started to fall down all of a sudden. The Romani schools emerged with the local schools in the land language, while some teachers had to undergo a special production and were prepared to work in the local primary school uh, schools, but some of them lost their jobs and started to do any jobs available. 
you can't destroy by a citizen de decree the whole movement, the whole spirit. That's why the Romani language, the Gypsy language, the, the variant, the Russian Baltic Romani language still operated in the collective farms. They were not closed down. And of course, between Roma themselves. By the way, the uh, Moscow State Gypsy Theater Roman, it is still active now. Initially, it was Indo Romani Theater, and it was inaugurated in 1931. So it's got all, as well the long history. It is still in the Dynamo Stadium near Dynamo Stadium Underground in Moscow. A big, pompous building with columns where Roma still carry on there and play and stage their plays. After the war, people, many Roma started to write letters to Stalin, try to reopen the Romani schools, but nobody was close enough and many Roma after the war had to uh, return to the nomadic way of life because in big cities authorities were not uh, willing to register uh, gypsy uh, uh, cities like St. Petersburg, Moscow, Minsk, uh, big cities. They, they just were not helping very much. Some attempts to restore the Roman Renaissance were made by the quite notable Roman teacher, poet Nikolai Satkevich. He died in 1991. He tried to open it in Siberia and in Bryansk region between 1960 and 70. He started to write letters to a lot of Romani educationists, including me. We prepared the base, but the, uh, but the Romani Egyptian parents um, went to the authorities and said that they opposed because they thought that we, the Romani activists, will become very rich. And I gave up. Uh, but some other Romans, including me, myself, had their books, poetry published, and I want to name some names. Maybe these names are known, I'm sure to you, like uh, the above nations, Nikolai Satkevich. I used to know him personally. Then from Siberia, Ivan Romano, Lexa Manush, who was from Latvia, living in Moscow, Karl from Mikha Gazimirenko from Ukraine, but he wrote in the Baltic group, not in the Ukrainian community, which he didn't know. Then the famous Yanis Nalens from Latvia, Jura Makhotin from Tver, Russia, and his daughter is alive, very active, Ilona Makhotina, Viktor Shapoval, non Romani from Russia, and other non Romani, Olga. Abraminka, then from Peter Vasilevsky, Lera Yanusheva, and the current chairman of Iru, Norman Dostrojevich. Uh, at last, in 2014, the Volta Kromany came out in Minsk which I had been preparing, translating for 24 years. And it's my pleasure to read you out now the first sentence, the first verse from the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. 
a chtěl se rest, devel so zdia, voleben i pchů. And if you could bear with me more, I will read you more lyric is too much, maybe politics, although I'm not politician, uh, more ly lyrical something from my collection of poet of poetry, which came out in three languages, in Romanes, Cyrillic, and in Romanes, Latin, translation into Belarus, and translated into Belarus and English. Just one poem came up straight away to my mind, and the plot is very interesting, is that an educated Rome holding a newspaper is challenged by his father, who is a horse dealer. An old Rome and his son. Porocha Vista. Tell them what Kuch Tato Nahachkirdo. Porocha Vesta Rombushto. The Stode Vast Sozor Nani Lijala Yuf Duma Bari. There is no warmth beneath the oak when old Rome sees by his son a walking stick in his hand to give strength. He reflects upon his past. He sees the room, Sir Krali doi, the jealous grand, Storiatel sign doi, Feniakha, Trne, Imurskane, Atipimui, Varshitka, Morshkipine. He reflects flex upon his past when, like a lord, he led horses away from a tricky drill, from a tricky deal with a smile. His eyes still shine young and courageous from a face that has become rich. Chavosa collected door, Azeta de Vasta, Sirte Juven Romania, Chapter Dat Pucha. Dixo, Sarai, Nate, Cotinel, Sonia Valagri Kerel. What is going on? Nearly everybody has rushed to trade, but who will have for the courses? Brotado, my father. Do not do me in the Savo, so Kajno Paru Valagrin Pepa Tavo. Už dávám mě diplom. Neneka mám, hrát to, promanuje, ty našavaf. My father don't presume that everybody will change horses for clothes. I will throw away my diploma rather than see the Romani heritage forgotten. Thank you for your attention. God be with you. Stay with God. Finita. Thank you. You've been very patient. Questions? Oh. Hello? Yes, yes. Yes. Do you get me? Any yeah. question I can straight away answer if I'm able. Okay. Uh, thank you okay. very much, uh, Mr. Kalinin, for for uh, this very interesting. Very interesting and informative uh, lecture. Uh, this really gave us an idea about uh, the Baltic Romas, and it is interesting to know that uh, Baltic Roma in Russia and during the Soviet time had a reasonably good time. 
there were efforts to uh, educate and there were many many uh, initiatives undertaken during that time and thank you very much for reading uh, uh, the words from your uh, bible which you have translated as well as uh, sharing uh, your uh, poem and hearing from a poet himself with the expressions it made a great difference and uh, it really talked about retaining and preserving the uh, romani heritage really thank you for uh, this presentation now the floor is open for question and answers and comments so anyone wishes to seek any clarification or make any comments you are most welcome please Jameer, would you like to start with the uh, comments or uh, question? Okay. Anyone? Uh, I'll ask in the last. At last, I'll ask the questions. But if, if anyone has any questions, please go ahead. You guys can all. a uh, professor shashi ji would you you mentioned about uh, one of his uh, poem being translated by you could you uh, touch upon that which was covered in the sahitya academy mic mic is unmuted mic is muted please unmute your mic please unmute sir Shashi ji, you uh, you are requested to unmute your mic. Hello. Yeah, now you are unmuted. No. Are Hello. you listening me properly? Are you listening me? Yes. Yes. Please. Ah. Uh, okay. Thank you. First of all, my brother um, from UK and earlier from Belarus. Uh, perhaps he remembers me when we met in Serbia in 2012. Do you remember? Kalini? Yes, try. You remember me? Oh yes, you, you changed with... a little bit. Yes, Mister. <laughs> yes, uh, here is one friend of mine sitting here in uh, Pakistan. So here, so you know, some friends here, and in this year, my friend of me, some those who are interested in the uh, your literature, particularly. Romani language, which is akin to Hindi, and here one uh, Dr. Sarojini Pitam is here. He is Hindi poet is here, and Dr. Vajpayee, Dr. Uh, then he has uh, some other Sam Parande. So all we understand a little bit about the Romani language, which is very close to Hindi. Unfortunately, I I have been telling all of you. to learn hindi to come to india and to have the uh, place in in site uh, in kendri sansthan agra but nobody has reported so far so please if you can do for the next generation because we are old people now it is bajpay ji sitting here he is running on roma university you know in झारखंड कैपिटल यूनिवर्सिटी मी टू आई एम वेरी कंसर्न विद द यूनिवर्सिटी वी आर हैविंग लॉट ऑफ एक्टिविटीज जमीर 
doing here every month some 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 function or some research article etc etc so and you ram nayak is also sitting here so i know many people are here sunita ji also here here and the, but uh, the problem is that you people do not uh, even uh, communicate our message to the younger generation So if you can do something to your gen younger generation then this jomani will will be uh, very very popular in india like other languages because we have got 22 language in our constitution the jomani is not here so i have written a book recently but i can't say that your poem here i am talking you uh, leksha manush is also here and this is a Science magazine, academic magazine. This magazine has published uh, Colin Wallace's uh, poem on lemon, lemon tea, on uh, dream, Romani dream. You know Romani dream here. It is Romani thing, sapna. Sheep. Yeah, yeah. It's a very good magazine in India. It's a literary magazine. By, by published by the government of india sahitya academy and here it is your poem here your poem i don't know whether you got this poem or not with me and then leksha manu is also here leksha what is it can i are you can i, can I uh, recite one small poem couplet bataiye sir sadeva ji Can I can I recite one couplet, a small couplet? Translation. He he because he is our guest. So he is sure. Uh, please please uh, Shanti Shashi. Sure, Doctor Shashi. Yes. You have done so much work in this, and we must listen to your thing also, your version, and your poem also. We'll we'll be glad to listen to it. Please continue. Sorry. Some connection problem, right? Yeah. There is a network. Yeah, network, network issue. Yeah. Professor Shashi ji, please so go he, ahead. He has network problem. Network issue. A source list about what? Could you specify what a source list of what? Source list. Sorry. Actually, he was talking about your poem. Your one of your uh, poems uh, has been published in uh, in in the very prestigious, uh, you know, means the prestigious journal of India. That is the Sahitya Academy uh, journal. Yeah. And uh, in that journal, uh, your uh, poem has been translated by Dr. Syam Singh Sachi Sir, and it got published in the Sahitya Academy uh, journal. That is a very prestigious. a uh, journal published by the government of india through uh, through the culture ministry so uh, he was talking about that and, and i had the honor to read that poem so i always always wanted to see you and meet you for such a wonderful poem thank you so jassi uh, sir has joined again rejoined yeah. so i think he may uh, recite very you know the short couplets of your poetry so yes sir yeah he has joined Again, the mic problem. There is an internet problem, sir. We are not able to hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, one more thing I would like to uh, inform that.
टुडे वी हैव द रमन नायक जी एज रमन नायक जी गॉट द वेरी प्रेस्टिजियस अवार्ड रिसेंटली सो आई वुड लाइक टू मेक अ मेंशन ऑफ हिम uh so he received the dr bhimra ambedkar award from an honorable chief minister of uh, karnataka uh, sri uh, basavaraj bumma uh, bumai ji so he is the first um, banjara who got this uh, prestigious award in india so we uh, on behalf of arsp and center for roma studies and uh, cultural relations uh, we uh, extend warm wishes and congratulations to ramanaik ji thank thank you very much for your wishes and blessing and uh, the government of karnataka has given awarded me uh, the very prestigious dr ambedkar uh, award for uh, the current year thank you very much thank you sir thank you very much dr sasi has joined again I have a one question for uh, uh, Valdemar ji. Uh, I have a one question for you because uh, Sasi sir, I think there is a still a uh, network issue. And now I'm yes. yes, yes, yes. Now you can speak, sir. Carry on. Yes. Uh, hello. Yes, hello. yes. Carry on. Are you listening me now? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, something wrong in my this instrument. I don't know what is happening. in this technology so i wrote a poem on oh we don't receive muted you have to unmute sashi uh, ji mute actually i don't know much about this my wish sashi वेरी गुड पोएम कोटेड बाई समोएट्स इंडियन हिंदी पोएट्स एंड यू शुड हैव एट लीस्ट दैट्स वाई टेल यू Tell particularly our younger generation to learn Hindi, which is the national language of India. Then you will see that the culture of Romani people is very close to India because the people they migrated from UP. We are now uh, you 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 uh, last time they have uh, organized. There is one function also. There was one function. and every year i think we have managed to have a, your your trip to uh, to that place and i think uh, uh, the hindi that place is hindi hindi region and that is why this sahitya academy magazine they have recognized the translation of your language and many people they many writers particularly poets they quoted this you know this uh, poem leksha manush poem on on lord rama and bharat uh, mr kali yeah. are you listening yeah. me yes i know acha brother you know we have talked a lot in uh, serbia and elsewhere also and uh, you know the master mr yeah yeah died you know this your poem i have translated here also here have you seen this uh, have you are you just have you seen, have you seen this book uh, this roma uh, roma magazine uh, edited by uh, dr rishi you know rishi yes of course uh, not his son but rishi The, the great but it was, but yeah. it was the old the mystery <laughs> yeah w r rishi so he he introduced me also to your 
uh, your field and others, those who are writing in Romani and uh, from and tra some translations, he asked me to translate some poems, some articles also. So, but this magazine is no more now. It's not. And this book, Roma, which included your poem also, is in English. This poem, I, because you write in English, oh. and you have translated Bible also, but, but you, Belarus, you know, we have got very, very much contact with the Russian poetry. I had been to Ukraine, I had been to, not Belarus, but I had been to USSR, those days it was USSR. So there I met many poets and I, I think we should have uh, organized some Roma poetry uh, function in India, which we could not do. So I am interested if you have some interest in uh, organizing some, poet, some poetic symposium in India, we can organize, I can ask my friend Sham Parandeji and uh, our other friends, those who are uh, devoting their time, a lot of time they are devoting in promoting Roma culture in India. So, because we have some, some young generation also, those who have taken interest now, see recently, the Research Foundation, one organization which, is, which was established by me, has got one branch also. And here Dr. Uh, Vajpayee is sitting. So we can have a very good uh, uh, context with the poets here in India. So but I'll send you the copy, there's no time. Now here, the Bharat the uh, Lekhra Manush, he says here, Meri Matri Bhumi Tumhe Bataun, Roma bhele hi rehte ho tamam vishu mein, na ghar ke ho, na ghaat ke, lekin javan par keval tumhara hi naam hai. Aryavrat shabd achcha lagta hai. Ye kaun kehte hai? Lekhsha Manush kehte hai, jo Rus ke poet hai. Inhi ke bhai hai sab. To janna nahi chaat, mein bhi gata hai. Roma apna dhukh dard gata hai, mein bhi gata hai. Dousre gaikon ke saath, mein jab tum se sanskrit mein bolta hai, to pyaare, mere pyaare Bharat, mere India, mere matri bhumi, mujhe saundariye, prasannata, aur swast chahiye. Janna nahi chaata, kisi anhe, पुरानी भाषा में मैं संस्कृत में गाना चाहता हूँ भारत इंडिया मेरे प्यारे देश मुझे सुनो मुझे गुनगुनाना चाहता मैं गुनगुनाना चाहता हूँ खुशहाली सौंदर्य प्रसन्नता तुम्हें शुभकामनाएं देता हूँ भारत तो हमें सुखम स्वास्थ्य में इच्छा नहीं न जात्वा पूरा भाषा संस्कृति है काम तो मैं बिकॉज दिस संस्कृत Hindi and Romani, all the, these three languages can unite together to find the etymology of many words, which actually I have, a, I tried my level best, but I'm sorry, I'm an Egypt person now, like you. So we have, we can seek the uh, cooperation or the, we can bless the younger generation. The, if you can help and send somebody you, you have my telephone number. I think we can do wonders. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Mr. Zamir. I have spoken to my friend and my Paksan friend also <coughs> sitting here. We have met in Germany long ago in 1981. Mr. Paksan, Mr. Paksan, are you listening to me? Mr. Paksan? Paksan? Dr. Paksan? He's left, I think. He left. Now we have. I know many people, but the younger generation do the, perhaps doesn't know much about the people of my age. Those who have devoted the whole, whole life to study the Roma culture, to study the people, whether living in England, living in USA, living in Mexico. Because I travel many countries. I travel seventy-five countries. Of course, I study different subjects, but because the Roma was my favorite subject and I did a lot of work, published in Hindi many books, published many articles in Hindi, made your culture very popular in, through Dharam Yug, through uh, Hindustan, through Indian and Hindi and English papers. So I think uh, we can do 
a uh, lot of work even now if you uh, extend your helping hand uh, along with your uh, along with your younger generation well thank you very much i want to know only what is the impact of this ukraine war in among the roma people can you tell me something about the because i've been to ukraine also and ukraine they are very sad now because what is happening there in ukraine and belarus and rus russian so india is also is not uh, spared because our people our younger generation was there studying mbbs medical sciences they somehow they had to come back to india but still they have liking for the uh, ukraine so can you tell me something about ukraine what is happening is there any roma problem also in in ukraine hello brother. oh yeah what is the what is the, yeah, how many what is the percentage of roma living in ukraine in ukraine if it official uh, census there were 58000 gypsy roma are they all living there are they safe hello Sorry. Brother, are they are they safe i don't know i've oh, got only contacts with two, three roma okay they are as the rest of the of the ukraine population they were sitting in a basement yes one person no Very two more strange. people two more yeah. people from the western mm. ukraine uh they didn't complain much because in the western ukraine there is almost no war okay so are there li- no, no do you have any contacts uh, you uk because you are living in uk from uk to any ukraine some relationship of roma people do you have any information because gigan because the people in many country do not have in marital relation also but do you have any any instance that uh, some relation you are in kin kin and kith living in uh, ukraine no i don't understand you uh, no no what i want to say do you uh, have any she i think uh, maria had just we have about the numbers some, of uh, roma in ukraine so uh-huh. if we uh, help answer that to help personally some roma okay. send it money to buy because some of them lost jobs they used to go to kiev work now they don't go they, we help them financially okay okay me and my small uh, mission i could hear something uh, somebody somebody respected maria aron and or whoever wrote me that 400 uh, thousand as if there are in ukraine it's fantasy mm-hmm. this fantasy i've been hearing for 20 years mm-hmm. the official face census which was taken in ukraine uh, was with a presentation of the ukrainian roma who used to give this number 3 4 1/2 a million and when the census ended up in 50 Uh, 8000s i found them and mm-hmm. they were not sort of oh some roma don't identify this is no you it can be in singles but not in thousands therefore this number is not real sorry mrs maria mm-hmm. shevchenko have you heard the name of shevchenko of ukraine shevchenko, shevchenko rome or or ukrainian no no he's not, no, 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 he's not rome but uh, ah, of course on, i do he wrote of on course the, i do yes it's a poet it's a great ukrainian great poet, poet. Yes. i translated him in the, in, in, in into hindi also <coughs> said, my book oh. is on uh, yes Bless. ukraine and yes, it's a great poetry. ukrainian poet <laughs> thank you brother thank you but i want to make oh, more yeah, i am you. alive to, to translate more and more thank, thank you professor you. shashi now uh, may i request if anyone else wish to comment or uh, make uh, seek any clarification from our speaker ji please yes 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 sorry some disturbance ha yeah. yes 
Yeah. So, um, yeah. 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 Tell me now. I have spoken a lot now. I don't want to say anything. But because I got some information from you about the Roma poetry and the Roma literature, yeah. something about so, the Roma, Romani uh, language. And Pakshan, I, I, I don't know when he is there. We can talk to him also. <coughs> right occasion. But Mr. Pakshan, he is not listening to us. You know, he's a, he was in USA. I don't know where he is now. Anyway, I'll get the, 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 the address from Zamir. I think now it's enough. Now, can you say something more about the Indo Indo uh, Indo Romani uh, relationship of, uh, regarding language? Indo Indo Hindi Indo Indo uh, Indo Romani. Uh, Professor Shetty, uh, I think we can talk about it. Uh, dif uh, this thing. Okay. Now, uh, if there is, uh, if there anyone you. else wish to comment or uh, seek a clarification. Okay, okay. No, no. So I, I must thank you all because I have to pay my respect to my uh, my friend from UK who has come here. He spoke a lot about the Roma people, Roma language, Romani language, and he talked about the. <coughs> uh, so I must congratulate him for this beautiful speech. It's a very rich speech, which he spoke, and I wish we may greet him and we wish a long life, best of luck in all respects. And all the listeners, uh, we should uh, have interaction to in India particularly, and others also to see that this forgotten people, the, this forgotten, they should come and they should be in India from time to time. And thank you very much. Um, so uh, I have a question for you, uh, Valdemar. Uh, my question Valdemar. is... Sorry, Valdemar. 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 So easy. Valdemar. Valdemar. Yeah. Valdemar. yeah. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Cleaning. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mr. Cleaning. So I have, a, I have a question for you. Uh, I want to know that uh, what is the impact of uh, integration of uh, Roma Romani people in the uh, societies of the Baltic states? Because uh, we have seen that in the uh, in the Iberian Peninsula that the forcible forcible integration of Roma in the mainstream societies of uh, you know, uh, means Iberian countries. Likewise, in the Baltic states, uh, what are the impacts? How it impacted the culture, language of uh, Romani people in Baltic states? And a lot of actions uh, and the integration programs started by the government of uh, Lithuania and Latvia. The Latvian government initiated uh, some, uh, you know, the integration policies. So how these policies uh, uh, these integration policies and strategies are impacting the culture and the language of a uh, Roma community in those countries. Yeah, there are too many questions, uh, Damir. Could you <laughs> could you put it uh, into no. one? You know, right? so, so integration. I don't like this word integration. Uh, let's say settling in. I I don't think uh, Roma or Gypsies would like to be consumed by bigger uh, nations or the land people. But um, of course, uh, Roma had to strive as everybody else to find a good job, to find a good education. Nothing is comes on a plate because he's wrong and shouldn't become. Uh, well, uh, in the Baltic states, uh, how to say in a nutshell, many Roma went abroad and just live as asylum seekers, including, by the way, Poland, while in uh, Belarus and Russia, people can't emigrate because of visa, and they have to uh, 
They have to adjust to, to the situation which exists. It's very difficult to find a job for Roma. It's more difficult than for non-Roma. Still, we can't overcome uh, prejudices. They are unwritten prejudices, which exist within the hearts of people, not to trust Roma. Hmm. What about? I can't send. I can't give you any percentages, and the situation varies. And uh, secondly. I'm, um, I don't live there. I come yes. from time to time, but it's just uh, visits. Visits can't, uh, can't create you the overall bigger picture what is going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ach, um, um, what about the discrimination nowadays? Discrimination with the Roma people by the Jigan, by other people. Discrimination. Uh, I, I hope it, as it is eternal as it is, okay. has been always. Yeah. Okay. You Thank can't you. change mentality of people. There are good mm -hmm. people and there are bad people. And in situation when there is non-Rome and Rome, Rome is always Okay, now tell me, brother, what are you writing nowadays? What are you writing nowadays? Poetry, pro children writing. What are you doing? Um, I have found an interesting material hmm. uh, from the, about the Bay Academy, which <coughs> was functions between the 17th and hmm, 20th century in Slonium in Western Belarus. It's called Bears Academy. It is in some dictionaries where yeah. Roma alone, alone Jews were bear trainers and where the high duke of Grand Duchy of Lithuania, Radzivil, was their main supporter and uh, creator of the uh, of the Litvin Romani Commonwealth. Mm, okay, okay. Because why I, I, I asked you. Uh, the yeah. Jewish people kindly let me some material. Some material I found I had been recorded from old Roma who had passed away. And it's confirmed that this academy worked and it was in blossom. Uh, Smorgon, it's called Smorgon Academy, Bears Academy. I tried to adjust. I found some works from archives. Okay. Uh, from Helsinki and from, it was uh, Radzivil, Grey Duke of Lithuania, uh, his archive in Helsinki, Finland. They answered me. So this is my main point. And how it happened, the yeah. Bears Academy worked there, Roma went vault. There were schools for Roma uh, there within Radzivil. There was collaboration, cooperation. Uh, there were apprenticeship. And when the, when the po Poland uh, <clears throat> was partitioned between the Russian, Russia, Germany, and Austria-Hungary, everything broke into passes and the Roma ran away. Not ran away, they had somewhere because the uh, Russian Empire, which acquired this part of Eastern Poland, didn't acknowledge what was done during the uh, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Okay, and uh, do you do you have any idea about Indian Constitution? Because why I'm asking you, Indian Indian, I wrote recently a book of Indian on Indian Constitution and culture and Ram Rajji. This is the book here, and I uh, mentioned your this Romani language also, Roma people also. You know, do you have any knowledge about the diaspora, diaspora people? 
Where? The, the diaspora, Indian these diaspora. are all Indian, Roma who Indian, leave. Indian diaspora. diaspora. And uh, then uh, your, your uh, Roma, whether they have been accepted as the uh, diaspora people? Diaspora. You yeah, but I, did, I didn't quite get, Mr. What is your sir, question? My question is, do you have any, any contact those who are trying for your case, your case to see that you are recognized as Indian diaspora? Are there some people working on this subject in your country? What do you mean? I live in UK and well, UK you goes a idea. bit different way from Europe now and especially from Eastern Europe. Hmm. But the uh, Baltic Romani countries also should okay. be separated. You know, mm -hmm. Russia, mm -hmm. Russia, uh, and Belarus are definitely Eastern Europe, while the Baltic states, they had been always Western. And okay. that's why they are uh, uh, moving, uh, even in a, on a question, on the topics of uh, Gypsy Roma interrelations in a different way. We mm -hmm. can't. Uh, Unify this put together. Okay, okay. But you should do something. Okay. Okay. No, 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 I think uh, uh, Mr. Thank Virendra you. Rishi thank would you for like to ask thank something. Uh, yes. Rishi, now this, he, 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 Mr. he, Mr. Rishi, would you uh, wish to ask some No, Mr. Rishi. Professor Shashi, uh, uh, sh sh we should give the floor to some people who are seeking. Okay. So, I Mr. Rishi. The floor is yours. Uh, I'd like to uh, inform um, Dr. Shashiji that... Uh, ah, are you are there. Namaskar. How are you? How are you? Namaskar. 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 Uh, wow, wow. Uh, we yes. went to Indian High Commission a couple of times and hmm. Mr. Vardmar was... Uh, we had a meeting with the Deputy High Commissioner and the councillors and the hmm. High Commission a uh, couple of times uh, talking about... Uh, Roma problems, and we did request them if you could um, help us and uh, about the Indian diaspora because my father also wanted uh, Roma to be recognized yes. as uh, non resident Indians, and that's what uh, I'm doing also. And Mr. Waldemar also came with us to the High Commission to talk okay. about the Indian diaspora, so he's he, he obviously. Mr. Waldemar is a great person. He's a member of Gypsy Council as well, and he travels a lot, and uh, he's a good friend of my father, and he, mm -hmm. I respect him for that. Thank you very much. And I just wanted to mention that we are in the process of uh, uh, meeting the Indian Commissioner again for asking them to recognize Roma as non-resident Indians who left India in 11th century. That's all I'd like to say. Thank you. Thank you, Virendraji. Thank you very much. After Thank you very much, Rishi, for this update. Now I see Punita asked yeah. some questions. Punita ji, uh, no, the I floor actually... is yours. Thank you. Valdemar, very nice to see you again. And uh, I just wanted to update you. I was at a conference two weeks ago in Croatia, in Zagreb. And over there, the, um, there's an, a Roma MP. Punita ji, we uh, can't so... hear you properly. Oh, can yes. you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear okay. you now. Yeah, I wanted to update you that I was in a conference two weeks ago in Croatia, in Zagreb, and Velko Kaitazi, who's an MP in Croatia, he actually put forward a resolution to send to the Indian government for recognition as diaspora status. And um, all the Roma present in the conference signed that resolution. And I think it's been forwarded to the Indian government. And... Okay. I had also spoken to uh, Virinda Gupta and informed Shamparandeji about this. And mm -hmm. I think everyone is quite um, hopeful or optimistic that that will happen. And so uh, it, was, it was like uh, worded very carefully and sent. And so there's a lot of momentum happening on this. And just two weeks ago, this happened. I believe it was also in the Indian newspapers. So um, I think it's imminent. I read it because sometimes Velko 
Vilko, who is the, this man from the governmental uh, Romani, he writes, he, uh, he lets people know what is going on. We are aware. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Rita Ji, for this update. I think it was covered in Indian Express. Huh. Was covered in Indian Express. This is a good news. This is a good news. So now, I request CG to give his concluding remark because we are almost at the end of the conference. Should I? Professor Shashi. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. I think uh, we have some other friends. Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, uh, but uh, Vajpayee Ji, want to contribute something? Before no, I... I, I would like to I would like to say only two lines, Sachdeva ji. Uh, please, that please. Is, that is very important because for the last two three years, which Roma uh, ARSP is doing Center for Roma Studies, and of course Jamir has worked a lot, and uh, in the direction leadership of uh, Mr. Sachdeva and Dr. Sasi. So what we have done in two three years, we have all collections and Jamir is there. So uh, we have established one center for Roma studies in Capital University, Jharkhand also, where we are teaching now the, the, the value education and international Roma culture. The second, International Roma Culture University already has started now teaching the, the, the managing through Rama, uh, Bhagavad Gita. So mm -hmm. all these are the uh, progress. Our other thing we have started teaching that is international polity, peace and harmony. So this is all the work which is now uh, we are doing under the umbrella of International Roma Cultural University. And we are planning to recognize some eminent uh, uh, professors and then persons like you people, those who are contributing for Roma studies and then Roma activities. For that, we I think we should... Uh, uh, meet once, uh, 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 maybe in 15 days or 10 days in Center for Roma Study ARSP. And uh, I am planning for a combined program in India in Delhi Vigyan Bhavan something where we can highlight all our activities done by, by ARSP, by Center for Roma Studies, by Dr. Sasi, by Sushdevaji, by Jameer, by International Roma Cultural Universities, all these things, by Ramnayak ji. So my suggestion is this. Thank you. Thank you, Sajdevaji. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vajpai Ji. It's a very good suggestion. And uh, we are very happy to hear about the initiatives taken by you under uh, and also uh, by our great uh, Professor Shashi Ji to uh, link up with the Romas all over the world and uh, to better understand them. So, so your suggestion is well taken. And uh, yes, we will uh, get back to you to work out a date for meeting to see how we can take this your suggestion forward. Thank you very much for the suggestion. So now may I request Professor Shashiji to uh, give his concluding remarks for this conference. Thank you. Thank you, Sadevaji. And I'm thankful to you that you have given me a chance to interact with my brothers, the old one here sitting in UK, and then we we'll Virendra ji also is here. So I, I am meeting some men and, and then Pakistan. So I, this was a golden chance for me. I thank you very much. Uh, had, I, had you not been invited, I, had you not been there, perhaps I could have missed this golden chance. And Jameer, you are doing wonderful job. Please keep in touch with everyone. And the younger and older, old people, and young people should unite together to, to see Thank you. The, uh, Roma issues. And Roma issues, brother, Mr. Kalinin, you please keep in touch with the old friends because you do not, we don't know tomorrow we are in this world or not. So at least we should leave for the younger generation. Okay, this book is Indian culture. Indian culture written by me latest uh, my on uh, during Romana Corona period and still I am working and remembering you people 
there are your poem some something about you also so why we are i have asked you what you are writing as a as an author so my so we are i i thank you all of you that we are doing and sincerely we are doing something and seriously we are doing something and we till our last breathing my dear brother we should continue to because we virendra ji there and his father we were he is the pioneer in this country particularly he invited he inter, made me interested also and we have do, for doing some good group it was a very good uh, group here which had done lot of work on roma people and, and had he been here perhaps there could have been different uh, now concepts different uh, now the changing of course good maybe good or bad but still some more interaction is required whether the people they came from india they came from punjab or maharashtra or gujarat it is a material the question is what they are doing today and they what they will be having the future relation contact with the with the, this country because nobody is coming even after i ask many in many conferences or do something for to learn this indian culture learn indian languages because language is important part of the culture do yeah. isn't it sir it's a very important part of the culture culture is some you know as sumner says culture is some total of human behavior now when you when you when you are there sitting there and you will, then you think about the the people you know sitting on the table the taking the food but you have you have not seen the real roma you know i i translated your po- one poem so when you say uh, where are the real roma where they have gone what they are doing but still they are there in some far off places so brother i would request you to keep in touch with zameer and some other young generation so that they may have uh, they may see our blessings right. only and then we can have some wonderful future of the roma people and this is, i am very happy to say, uh, know this through uh, this uh, punita ji punita ji you are I, i must thank you very much for the, this news okay all the best and have a good time and thank, you. thank you very much i would like that to add one more thing professor I, I, hello i would like to add one more thing that the i have taken initiative and sensitized the uh, uh, central university of gujarat in gandhinagar i was there the indian express that uh, article covered that was uh, uh, means that was my uh, work and that article also uh, talked about the center for roma studies and cultural relations so i was there in gandhinagar uh, uh, on 12th of april and uh, i uh, sensitized the diaspora department of uh, uh, central university of gujarat and i also informed the dean of the central university of gujarat uh, uh, diaspora studies professor atnu mahapatra and uh, he gave the interview and uh, so uh, as a center for roma studies we have been sensitizing at uh, different universities as well so uh, uh, the uh, central university of gujarat uh, that is uh, has mou memorandum of understanding with the rsp uh, the diaspora studies there is another department so uh, i am the i am the uh, uh, that's the phd student that i uh, most probably Uh, very good uh, that in that university so uh, i informed and briefed the different professors there and assistant professors and associate professors even a vice chancellor i had a discussion with the vice chancellor of uh, that's uh, uh, central university of gujarat so uh, they are very much interested and enthusiastic about the roma issues and they helped uh, they are trying to extend all kind of helps to me uh, to complete my thesis because that thesis is a uh, 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 the uh, that's a uh, comparative studies uh, an analytical and comparative studies uh, between uh, the cultural and a social parallelism reflection of cultural and social parallelism so uh, uh, we have been also in touch with another uh, university so uh, we are trying to establish a chair for roma studies and uh, so there was are also mentioned in the uh, opening remark uh, that um, center for roma studies has been uh, on the forefront of uh, sensitizing not only indian scholars or indian academicians but even the indian people so a number of articles are being published um, 
uh, under the uh, Center for Roma Studies and Cultural Relations, number of articles in Hindi and English and in Indian uh, magazines, journals, prestigious journals and uh, newspapers, as well as the international. So uh, that is the under the uh, guidance of Shyam Prandeji and uh, our chairperson, uh, uh, Ambedkar Sajdeva sir. So uh, the center is uh, uh, engaged, dedicated to uh, uh, extending this, uh, you know, uh, means uh, this Roma issues uh, across the mm -hmm. India amongst mm -hmm. the policymakers. So uh, that I wanted to say. Thank you very much, sir. Zami, uh, Sajdeva ji. So thank you. So I think uh, we have got a good idea about uh, what we are doing as a center. And uh, we are really thankful to all of you for participating today. And we are special thanks to our uh, speaker today, Mr. Rademir for sparing this time and uh, giving us uh, very educative and informative information. And for uh, other scholars from India who gave their uh, inputs, especially our uh, Professor Shashiji, who was uh, who gave uh, good inputs at various points on what is being done by his uh, foundation and by himself. So uh, with these, uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining because we are already two hours uh, of the conference. Okay. Uh -huh. Professor Shashi, would you like to make some remark or uh, because no, I think no, you are... No, just I want to tell your uh, this Zamir that he should contact Vardha University also. We are in touch with. 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 Yeah, okay. we are in touch with the uh, vice chancellor of Vardha uh -huh. University and the uh, pro vice chancellor of Vardha University. So uh, they are also very much interested in assigning uh, or getting into an MOU with the Center for Roma Studies and Cultural Relations. So uh, we are uh, looking into this. And uh, no diaspora, I'm telling you. Yeah, diaspora is the diaspora department, and one fellow came to you also. He transferred. He got uh, MPhil, I think, from yeah. his that university. Narayana knows very well. So you tell this particularly, this your university where you are now studying in uh, Gujarat, th that they should have some uh, contact and uh, with the uh, Vardha University because uh, uh, very close, both the languages, even the jo Gujarati, uh, Marathi, Hindi, because they have the same, same uh, family and the, then the uh, Romani. So you can tell, advise them if they can have a good, uh, some, some sort of uh, combined uh, program. You know, yes. you can have combined program also and invite some, sometime the Vardha people. <laughs> okay, just, just, just one, one, uh, one. Uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for your suggestion, Professor Shashi. Okay, thank you. And uh, with these uh, words, now I like to take, uh, Leave and I would like to close the, uh, uh, this uh, lecture uh, today and uh, look forward to see you all in our uh, next monthly lecture, which will be in the next in the last week of the next month. And uh, uh, please keep uh, reading our newsletter and we wish to hear your comments if any suggestions on improving the newsletter. With these words, bye bye. Thank you. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Hello, brother. <laughs> Pakistan ji. Not, not responding. Okay. All the best. Mamta. Hey, Mamta. You're going to close the door.